Hi, I'm out in my car and I'm getting ready to do another drive-by painting. If you listen, you can hear the noon bells chiming. And I'm parked in Middleton and I am right outside their library to the back of me and in front of me is their historical society museum which is this old house so this is what I'm going to be working on now the other thing that I wanted to say was I didn't bring my letters in with me I, I said I'm not going to write any letters today I'm just going to go out and run my errands and get them done well <laughs> that didn't work. It's such a beautiful day. We're just having beautiful weather here. But I stopped at... I stopped at uh, a thrift store. And I found this at the thrift store. And it's falling apart. I mean, it's it, they sell it as a collectible. And I paid like $5 for it. But what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be working in it. <laughs> you know, I have to say that I'd like to say I appreciate Shakespeare, but, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes I think that he was in such a different culture that you have to capture the, the phrases that really mean a lot. And some of this, I was reading through it today and I'm going, are you kidding me? <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would sketch in here. And since I don't have my letters with me, I'm going to actually remove my pages. Yes, I know. But it was only a five dollar book and it's it's fallen apart. It's nothing that it's nothing that there's probably hundreds of these books stuck away in the basement someplace. And we're working on this book and I notice as I'm pointing my camera down that the sun look at shadow there and the sun there. So, I don't know if you're going to see too much. I may have to adjust my visor a little. But I'm going to work on here, do a quick sketch. And I'm going to be doing it. Look, while I was talking, a car came up and parked in my line of view there. But we'll just work around this. This is urban sketching. In urban sketching, you have to appreciate that there are going to be cars and and things obstructing your view that's the way it goes <laughs> so and noise and people passing by and wondering what in the world you're doing you know what I really like is the tailgate I don't know if I can show this to you without his license plates speaking about urban sketching here look at just the tailgate of that truck in front of me And I love the shadow of the trees on the road. Now that's urban sketching. And even the reflection in my rear view mirror here. That might be fun to do sometime. I might do that today, but I might move to a different spot because I'm parked in front of the library and I probably only got a two hour time limit here. I don't see a sign, but we'll see. This is what I'm going to work on really fast right now this afternoon. Okay, I'm going to point my camera down and get out my my watercolor and my sketching and we'll see what we can do. Okay, here's the thing. I left my I left my little writing book of box at home which has my phone holder in it. That I connect up to my visor. So I'm holding my phone with my left hand and I'm going to sketch with my right hand on here. This may be a very quick shaky video but I kind of want to get a quick sketch of this house. hard to do while I'm holding the phone with my left hand. 
I am not looking at the paper. I am looking into the phone visor, which is kind of a different experience. So that might explain why some of this might look wonky. <laughs> I sort of have recorded what I'm looking at just just more in a, a it's more of a scribble sketch and then I kind of ignored this whole area here there's a, another a house comes down here and there's a, kind of like a barn behind there and then there's a window there. Okay. I'm going to pull way up. See if I can't hold my book at a distance here. See what I got. It's really not too bad for what I was looking at. For just doing it one-handed while I'm holding my phone in the other hand. I'm going to go home and get my the rest of my materials. And we'll do some more urban sketching today. Okay, I went home and I got my composition book and my letterbox and my phone holder. So I can finish with my urban sketching. I went to a different place. I went to this, I was out at this park the other day where they had those flowers that they pruned right in front of me. Well, this is how it looks today. And... I like that little chicken coop over there. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Chicken coop. Little urban chicken coop. So I might focus on doing the chicken coop today. This afternoon. And then look at this garden. Isn't this beautiful? Just kind of, I think I'll focus on the chicken coop. I might turn my car to face that a little bit more. We'll see. And I'm going to to put the work a little bit more on that sketch that I did this morning where I didn't have my phone holder. I might put some color on it and put glue it down in my composition book. So I'm going to point my camera down now and get to work and we'll see what happens.
Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. Hello to all the viewers of the Merry Atelier. This morning when I left the house, I said to myself that I was only going to run some necessary errands. I thought about taking my book of writings with me, but I decided not to. Well, all my errands were done by noon, and I even went to the thrift store where I picked up this book of the complete works of Shakespeare. The book is falling apart, so I thought that it might be fun to use it for mixed media and art journaling. And this day is another one of those beautiful autumn days where if one sits in the house, they feel like they're cheating themselves. Yeah, I'm going to do some urban sketching, except I left my book of writings at home. So I have this book of Shakespeare, and I decided to try to sketch on it and then remove the pages later and glue them in. Well, as you saw in the previous segment, I had to hold my phone in my left hand while I drew with my right hand because I left my phone holder at home, too. I'm just going to have to start carrying everything with me so that when inspiration strikes to do an urban sketch, I'm ready. I added some color to the quick sketch on the opposite side. You know, I really do like this view, and I like the, the street that this is on. I like the building and I like the view, but I was parked on a busy street right at noon. I will make a mental note to visit this place on a day when it's less busy and I can do a more detailed drawing. And as for using the text from the book pages, I think I need to mute them down maybe with some gesso. I'm not sure how that's going to work because I'm not sure how my fountain pen will glide over it. We'll see. I was one of the lucky ones who only had to study a little Shakespeare when I went to high school. As I read through the pages to this morning, I thought, goodness, no wonder not many high schoolers like Shakespeare. Yet if we look closer and pick out some phrases and paragraphs, like I did on the previous page, and tell thy king, tell thy king, there's no king today, but what about our senator, our president, our state representatives, our governor, or just put it on YouTube, that'll get the message out. Beyond the river, we'll encamp ourselves, and on the morrow, we'll bid them march. I'm not sure what caught my eye on this phrase, except for I see an army preparing for tomorrow. And here's one I can really relate to. A good soft pillow for that good white head. Yep, that's the phrase I can relate to. Well, I think my pen cartridge is running out of ink, and I'm running out of space in this two-page limit that I set myself for. I want to turn my car around at a better angle and sketch that urban chicken coop before it's time to go home. Well, I had to stop anyway and put in a new ink cartridge, but it's time to do some sketching before the afternoon slips away from me. I will write again on the next page. Mary at the Mary Atelier, Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014.